Well, hello gang, welcome back once again to the long dark. I'm only wolf, we are back, back, back in Ash Canyon, let's stuck And I think we're ready to climb down just about. Uh question is, is there waffles? Uh, 65 pounds, we can take a hunting rifle just in case. Did we ever actually bring a rifle cleaning kit? We did not. <laughs> Rifles at 50%, jams are going to start being likely. Oh well. Ah, what's the temp? Yeah, not the end of the world. <laughs> it's so close to being day that the stars are still out. Guess it's closer to night than day, don't know. Anyway. We don't have far to go. Quick shot. Oh wow, we're actually down this- wow, this is actually pretty cold. I haven't been this cold in a while. There could be wolves down there, I'm not sure. We're gonna be very, very careful. Very careful. Looks like we gotta stop midway through. Doesn't seem anything obtrusive. actually get to click on it. With some fuel we'll leave here. Alright. Looks like we got a cave over there. And some broken shelter. I don't see any wolves nearby. Ledge is really high up though. Getting out of here is going to be a beast. It's gonna be like the climb up the first set. Unless this is where the crampons are, in which case, if it is, we'll be better off than our previous anticipation. But, whatever. Alright, we're down. Look at that. Alright, interesting. Wow, that is gotta be one of the longest climbs I've seen. Of a singular climb, anyway. I don't know, I think that, well, I think that matches like one climb on Tibral. No, or something, I don't know. It's been a hot minute. Alright, so this isn't that far down. I think we got saplings though. Let's go check that out. I hope we brought the hatchet with us. It'd be a shame if we left that up there. I really didn't check that heavily what we were bringing and what we weren't. Okay, we brought it. Look at that. Alright, so getting here in Lopers, if this is the only way in, is actually going to be quite difficult. We'll go check out the waterfall over there real quick in a second. I don't think we need the rifle. This looks pretty, pretty abandoned in here to me. I had to wager, I would say, that drops down to where we were just the other day. Oh wow, we are actually getting cold. That's crazy. Alright, so there's a dead body here? There is. Why would you come over here to die? Yep, so this is indeed where we were. The other day, down on there. Because look, there's the dead... stuff. Alright, interesting. Doesn't look like we need to rifle badly, at least in here. Maybe there's a wolf in the cave, so we'll at least be prepared if that's the case. Ooh, a took. Tookie tookie took. Another spare to add to my collection of spares. Yeah, we're not to the cave yet, so I'll just put that away. No point in having that out. Alright then. This actually doesn't seem that bad to get into once you're up the other side. There's a cave to rest in and everything, so if you can actually make it up without dying, it should be fine. Might take a stim though, honestly. Even a, even if I plan things really well, bring a lot of fuel, all the cattails, like that's still gonna be a bit of a run to get through. And loper.
Well, that's barren and empty. We've got the sluice box here. Mine carts. This place looks pretty much dead. D E D dead. -d. Got a container. The very weird hitbox and is empty. Uh, okay, so I take it there's literally nothing here. Okay. Make sure there's nothing, but yeah, this looks like a pretty much a nothing. All right, we got ooh one stick. Yeah, so there's not even fuel down here, so like you gotta go into the gotta be in the mine to so survive the cold. got three of these suckers and we are immediately blessed with one more oh really really I'm trying to look at the crates on the other side of the crate because hinterlands sadistic and hide stuff and you're gonna tell me that that's actually an exit okay you know what whatever let's not worry about those crates let's just go If this is a gold mine, you wouldn't expect much coal to be on the ground, would you? But look, there we are, coal. Alright, matches. I wonder if that holds up in Loper. There's a burn barrel. So I imagine this would be the kind of cave that causes... Um, cabin fever. Now, what do we have here? Ooh, that looks that looks icy, 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 icy. That looks dead end. That looks dead end, so it looks like Icy Icy is the way to go. Ice Ice, baby! Keep my tootsies dry. Work smarter, not harder. Well, this is kind of a big little, uh opening in here. And we're doing some serious work in here. I really hollowed this out. Got a big old cage crane thing. Not a miner, I don't know what the technical terms for that are. Ooh. Some cramp bonds, some sardines, a king of plug, I don't care for the recycled cans, some accelerant, but the thing we came for, the tacky backy. So like, where does that show up? I guess it just doesn't show up, but now we have carry weight. Well, I don't think he made it out of here. Just gonna hedge a bet on that. This stuff will come in handy. Yeah, he did. Oh, he died. Question is, what killed him? Looks like he's holding his throat. Hard to say. Uh, is this rifle in any better condition than the one I've got? Yes. So, what we do is we just kind of do a kindly little swap. Okay. Uh, bye bye 
I ever need another rifle, I know where to come. Just have to make sure to load the other one up. Alright, where does this go? Well, I suppose we could drop all that coal and just take both out. But it's Stalker, I have 20,000 rifles already. It's not like I really need another. This flare is winding down. Did we bring any torches? And if so, how many? One. Uh, okay, we'll just use another flare considering we found like ten. I'm getting the vibe that there's angry critter in here though. Where does this cave come out at? Seems like a lot of uphill. Could we maybe have avoided the rope climb? Is there another entrance? Alright, before this flare completely dies. Ah, oh, two flares, that's loud. Maybe I'm gonna regret lighting this flare, maybe the exit's right up here. Judging by the light, maybe. <laughs> oh gosh, I should've just gone a little further, shouldn't I? Well, now we know for next time. Alright, so what's on this side? Where does this come out at? What? You mean... Oh, this looks like a one-way trip, though. Uh... And it's a one-way trip we don't want to take. And the reason I'm going to say that is... I know exactly where we are. The rope to get back up here is gone. We would never be able to get back up. Um... Yeah, this does not look cheesable. Shoot. Alright, so there's a solution to this predicament. As specifically how to get to this guy. We have to steal a different rope, but I'm not sure from where we can do that. But otherwise, we can't get that body. Not that that body's likely to really have anything on it that I would desperately need. But, or else we can just mountain goat cheese our way up there, but otherwise I don't really think... Because like, if we were to go down there, that's a, that's a one-way ticket. There's no getting back up to literally all the other stuff we left behind. That's a one-way trip. Explains the area we got out at, but... I'm excited to see how these crampons go. Were they 100% when we got them? I guess they're going close. 99%. Oh, okay. The tacky backy, the well fed, and the moose hide. You get 99 pounds of carry capacity. Oh my goodness. I remember back in the day when we had 66 and that was it. You were stuck with it. Love it or leave it. That's all you had. Well, you couldn't leave it if you wanted to play the game. Even if you hated it. It's what you had. The 66 pounds. So, you think we can do that rope climb without sleeping with the crampons? Let's see how much faster we go. Did we go in our room? So it's possible we can cheese that climb, but I don't think they- I'm trying to recall, I don't think there's another rope climb up here. We had the cave that we went down, and that was kind of that. But yeah, I'm not- I'm not- I'm not really sure. I still use two flares to get through the cave, what do you do? Not the end of the world. And look, they almost completely dry in that time. We have a better Raphael. Alright, so we can steal this rope. Slap it down, we may actually be able to mount and go back down in here if we wanted to, to make our way through the cave to get to that body. It might be worth it. 
But we have to steal that rope and put it back. Now let's see if the crampons are good enough. With only half fatigue though, I really feel sketch about that. There's no critters down here. So I don't have a problem slow throwing a bag down and sleeping for a hot minute. I don't know how long the weather's going to be good for, but... Nope. Wow, I can really click all the wrong buttons at once. Alright, two hours. Three hours... Don't think we'd freeze in three. Not to death, anyway. Hmm, that sounds bad. Nope, it's fine. Alright. How rest are you? Three hours. Okay, almost back to full. What do we have for food? A tin of sardines. And another tin of sardines. I've never, ever yet gotten food poisoning, unless there was one episode where we did and I've forgotten it. Wait, get back down. Excuse me. Let's not be stupid here. Sure footing. Oh my gosh. You just truck up a rope with these. Wow! Well, that's amazing. Yes, I am taking both of these with me. Don't judge. Yep, one hour. We'll be warm inside the sleeping bag. We're only cold because of the wind. If we were sheltered, or the wind goes away like this, we're fine. An hour will get me rested just enough to smack this sucker up. That's the way. And we have a dense fog for that. Yeah, I may be able to mount and go down one of those slopes to get back in here once we take this rope away. We really should have, like, brought a rope. I didn't know we needed one, though. For Loper now I know, but I don't know if we have a rope. I mean, we could steal one out of Timberwolf. We could steal, steal the deer clearing rope. Okay, so we gotta steal this. Alright. Thank you for the contribution. No, no, it's fine. As soon as we slap this rope down, we're good. We don't even need all this coal. I took it stalker. Loper, that coal will be nice. Alright, so we have to think about if we want to try and find a way to mount and go down. Just for one dead body. Don't know if it's worth it. But I could recognize where we were, what rope climbs those were. That was not... That was not something we can do. Not easily, anyway. But yeah, I wasn't going to pop out and go down what looked like a one-way trip. See, hit listen to those ravens. I think those ravens are for that dead body that's down there. I think it's off the second rope climb, or when you come up the second rope climb and are stuck waiting. Which means we would have no way back up. It's just too cloudy to see. Or foggy. To tell. It's possible we could get there. Maybe we already did and I'm just forgetting. <laughs> just entirely possible too. Maybe we did hit that dead body up. Might be a good idea to reload this guy, though. There you go. Ten whole rounds in here. Good old Bessie. Keeps the wolves away. Maybe a bear. Yeah, if I was filling up to it, I think if we had good weather and could see. This looks mountain goatable right here.
It's a one-way trip, though, if you do it. Unless, of course, you take the cave out. But, yeah. Not exactly something we're intending to do, eh? Let's pop in this cave and rest up for tomorrow after we repair some crap and have a look at our goodies. So, ooh, you can hear the crampons. They make noise. Do they lose condition or something? Doesn't look like it. Alright, 90, 76, 70. Nine, nine, four, nine, seven, one, nine, eighty. Four, nine. Nothing really needs repair. That can just get harvested for the cloth. I think the sleeping bag needs repair though. We'll have to have a look at that. If it does, that takes a fair bit of time. Let's go have a peek. Eighty-three. Can stay for a while. It'll hold. Ah, uh, da da da. Good. Very cute. Finally, a different music score. We had been stuck with the one for so long. Maybe it's the same one, I'm just gonna, I don't know, but like... 99 pounds normally. With all of these things. I guess once you pick the tacky backy up, it just exists, so I don't really see it anywhere. Not like you can take it off. At 33 pounds, oh my gosh. Eat my pork and beans. And my dog food. crap we got in here we have so much fuel we don't know what to do with it all all right let's pick this up and drop it in another spot so it's away from if I can drop any of this here. yeah in a second over here There's a lot of good fuel, that. So curing, if we're gonna spend the night, we might as well let these uh, cure up a little bit too. That's a lot more arrows. A lot. This is a lot of arrows. So I'm gonna primarily use the rifle, or the bow, that's, that's good. Alrighty, well. How do ya do? Let's just pass some time to save real quick. I think we might do a little more shenanigans. Or, you know, we could sleep for like three hours and then go do some night nighttime shenanigans and look around and see if there's another rope to steal or something. I don't think there is. I think that's it. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I've been Lonely Wolf. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay warm out there.